there is a very good reason that space has been dubbed the final frontier. As it stretches in infinite directions all around us, so too does the mystery and intrigue as researchers scramble to attempt to understand how the universe came to be and how it continues to operate. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be diving into three recent space discoveries and what they mean for those of us stuck here on Earth. Mysterious Sphere can be seen casting a giant shadow on the surface of Mars. Despite decades of research and exploration, Mars remains an utter mystery. Scientists still have many questions about the history of Mars and the possible future of the planet. For example, while scientists have found evidence that Mars used to have oceans, the real answer remains a mystery. Scientists also wonder if humans could potentially live on Mars, but it will take a lot of research and exploration to get that answer. Every new finding on Mars seems to bring us closer to understanding the planet while at the same time giving us a new puzzle to solve. Recently, scientists received photographic evidence of a large object on Mars's surface. A channel called Mars Moon Space TV discovered what seemed to be a large object casting a shadow on the surface of Mars. They found this white spherical object by zooming in on images captured by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, a spacecraft created to explore Mars. The MRO satellite circles the planet, captures images, and then maps and sends data back to Earth to be analyzed by scientists. The mysterious sphere seems to be sitting in an area that scientists say used to be underwater. While scientists believe this giant lake existed, it has been millions of years since the lake was an actual body of water. While this recent discovery is incredibly intriguing, it is far from the first discovery on Mars to pique the interest of scientists over the years. Many mysterious, unknown objects have been discovered on Mars, and this new sphere is just another addition to the long list of unsolved mysteries on Mars. Only time will tell what new secrets will be revealed in the coming years. We just have to keep on searching. Verona Rupes, the tallest cliff in the solar system. While there are constant new space discoveries, there are also space objects that scientists have known about for decades. That is the case with Verona Rupes, thought to be the tallest cliff in the solar system. The cliff lies on Miranda, one of the planet Uranus's five major moons. The moon is relatively small, with a width of fewer than 300 miles, only one-seventh of the width of Earth's moon. The moon's varied landscape makes it a well-known space object. With giant canyons up to 12 times deeper than that of Earth's Grand Canyon, the moon has many marvels. Miranda is also famous for its strange appearance. Some say it even resembles Frankenstein's monster because of its jumbled look. Adding to the strangeness and beauty of Miranda is this massive cliff. Veronda Rupes was discovered in January of 1986 by a Voyager 2 space probe. Our understanding of the cliff seems to be getting clearer, as scientists previously thought that the cliff was only 3 to 6 miles high, but as of 2016, they now believe it to be about 12 miles high. That height would make it the tallest known cliff in the entire solar system. In comparison, Earth's most towering vertical cliff, Mount Thor, located in northern Canada and named after the Norse god of thunder, is only about one mile high. There are many mysteries that remain in regards to Verona Rupes. Scientists believe that it was possibly formed by a significant impact on the moon or by tectonic surface motion. Due to Miranda's low gravity, a fall from the cliff would take about 12 minutes at a speed of about 124 miles per hour. Thrill-seekers everywhere would be happy to know that NASA itself claims that if one were to fall from Verona Rupes, they might very well survive. While no one is expected to fall from Verona Rupes anytime soon, these calculations add to the understanding of how special the cliff truly is. NASA satellite captures Sharkano eruption. When it comes to erupting volcanoes spewing boiling hot lava throughout its immediate vicinity, most living creatures 
would be expending a large amount of energy to get as far away from the scene as soon as possible. However, it seems that some species of sharks do not really mind the extreme temperature environment created by these situations. Recently, NASA satellite images captured the aerial view of the slow eruption of an underwater volcano in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of the Solomon Islands, documenting the activity of the Kafachi volcano, otherwise known as Sharkano. The volcano, whose base sits at over 1,200 meters deep with a peak about 20 meters below sea level, constantly spews volcanic particles into the region even when it's not erupting, generating a superheated acidic environment that is incredibly unconducive to life. A 2015 study of the region found that two kinds of sharks, including hammerhead sharks, do not seem to mind the conditions at all and are so tolerant of the inhospitable environment that they have made their homes relatively close to the active crater, despite the occasional explosive burst of magma. They do not appear to be the only ones who can withstand the heat. An oceanography article published regarding the strange Sharkano stated that populations of gelatinous animals, small fish and sharks were observed inside the active crater raising new questions about the ecology of active submarine volcanoes and the extreme environments in which large marine animals can exist. It has long been known that microorganisms and certain smaller life forms can tolerate conditions that are not conducive to life, but witnessing entire populations of such advanced life forms as sharks has provided researchers with a new perspective regarding how life might function in such seemingly hostile environments. The volcano itself has been in various stages of eruption since 1939, contributing to the creation of nearby islands that were subsequently eroded with the ocean waves. Even with much larger recent explosions in 2007 and 2014, the sharks do not seem to be deterred and have firmly established themselves as residents of the Pacific Ocean Sharkano. There is no doubt that researchers will continue to monitor and study the environment in order to attempt to better understand how and why sharks would live in the crater of an active volcano, as well as how they contribute to the ecological systems surrounding the underwater Kavachi volcano. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.